Hey guys, Brick and Laura here today for Legal Talk Tuesday. Um, we had started last week kind of uh, talking about what the heck is a virtual lawyer and what it is that we do um, because you probably see our faces all over Facebook, um, but you don't necessarily understand exactly what a virtual law firm is or the types of services that we offer. Uh, last week we started this and my internet um, has been going out. So totally went out in the middle of it. We were on a roll, you know, of course it was awesome. You'll never see it, but it was amazing. <laughs> uh, but, so it went out and hopefully it doesn't happen today. I was pretty confident early on, but Laura told me yesterday when we were video chatting that apparently it was a little sketchy. So I apologize in advance if we have to do a take three. So uh, this is take two about who we are and how we got started. So we are a virtual law firm and you know, what exactly is a virtual law firm first? Uh, basically all it really is, is the way that we interact with you. So uh, our goal is really to be um, proactive and to communicate well and to make the whole experience um, kind of centered around you, your needs, meet you where you are and make sure that it's convenient for you. And so, all of our interactions are remote. We um, talk to you on the phone for a first consultation. We have a client portal that is secure and encrypted so that you can go in, you can um, do several things. You can um, pay, make payments, you can uh, upload documents, you can communicate directly with us. And so we really try to make uh, the client experience very smooth, very helpful, uh, just very easy for you guys. And so um, that's the virtual part. And we're going to talk a little bit more. Laura's going to tell you a little bit about what limited scope representation is, but that's kind of the second piece. Um, and really how we got started was that we, you know, we've both been in a traditional setting. We've both uh, met face to face in our fancy offices. I say fancy office. My office was maybe 200 square feet. It was, <laughs> it was as fancy as I could make it. But uh, we had our own little offices and we met face to face and we did what you would think um, of a TV lawyer, or a traditional lawyer, a conventional lawyer would do. Um, we were not really that efficient and it didn't really save you guys a lot of money because we were having to do all the things. And so um, we started back in 2015 with a mission to make legal services both accessible um, and affordable for you. So I'll let Laura talk now. <laughs> um, I never even had a fancy office or 200 square foot office. I, no, I, worked at, exactly, I had a, a very lovely friend from law school who allowed me to use his conference room to meet people. So I just worked on my couch. I'm familiar with that. So I'm comfortable with that. So that's how you get the best productivity out of me. Uh, and if you happen to hear some tennis in the background, I realized right as we were starting starting that I forgot to mute the okay. US. She can't turn it off. She's, sure. turn it off. She's watching if you see her. I am a little bit obsessed with uh, <laughs> Grand Slams and Naomi Osaka is playing right now. She won last year the controversial uh, win over Serena Williams last year. But uh, that aside, let's talk about MVL again. Um, <laughs> another difference that we have versus what you think of as kind of what Brooke said, TV lawyers, is that we offer something called limited scope representation. What is that? What does it look like? <clears throat> and I'll talk about that kind of in conjunction with um, what we practice because it makes sense to kind of talk about those two together. What limited scope representation is, is what it sounds like. So instead of being your full representation attorney where you handle every, the attorney handles everything from A to Z, communicates with the court for you, uh, you know, communicates with everybody for you, and sometimes you have a hard time getting a hold of them, you don't know the status of things, you have to rely on them for everything. You're also paying them usually an hourly fee for them to do everything. What limited scope representation is, is that, <laughs> I love it when I use the same word twice. What it is, is that uh, we handle the legal parts of your issue and you handle the other things, basically administrative things like getting signatures, filing documents with the court, that kind of thing. So we're handling things that you, you know, it's beneficial to have a legal brain to actually do, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's beneficial to have a legal brain actually do, but the things like administrative tasks where in a traditional practice, we say traditional practice for those TV lawyer type situations, they have a secretary, a paralegal, but you're still paying for that person 
again, usually hourly, you're paying for that person to make copies, to, you know, in the olden days, uh, you know, send a runner to the court, all that kind of, I say the olden days, I passed the bar in 2002. So I've been practicing for about 17 years and literally we had runners go to the court to file things. I saw an ad for that the other day. A runner? It's so oh, yeah. yeah, we are the profession that likes to hold on to our, and you know, old stuff basically. Mm -hmm. That walk uphill both ways mentality. But so limited scope representation, what it looks like for you is that it's more transparent. Um, you are 100% involved in every aspect of your case. And so you know what's going on. You're the one who's handling kind of the detail oriented type things that are more administrative type type work. And where that looks a little bit different um, is really with our family law practice. We practice in Arkansas here, we practice in three areas. And I love the word practice. We always get that joke of, you know, aren't you good at it yet? Yes, so we are good at it, but it's kind of like practicing medicine. It's always practicing. But uh, we handle business law matters. So Brooke can help you with anything related to your business, contracts, um, operating agreements, uh, you know, just pretty much everything you could possibly think of for your business. Um, we handle a lot of, we work with a lot of small businesses to make sure that they're comfortable, they're in compliance with the law, all sorts of things like that. We do estate planning. And that is, you know, making sure that your family and your things are taken care of in the event of your your passing. And we never like to think about death. I actually think about it probably a little too much because uh, I like to. <laughs> I just, I just, it's not a problem for me. I just want to make sure everything. Session moment right now. Yeah. Uh, you guys are getting me on a Tuesday where it's rainy outside. For those of you that are in Central Arkansas, <laughs> and uh, I always get very contemplative on rainy, gray days. Apparently, especially when tennis is on. But uh, estate planning, we you know make sure that your things, your kids, your house, your spouse, all those things are protected in the event of your passing. Um, most of us don't necessarily pass when is when it's expected, and so those kind those things need to be taken care of kind of on the front end. Um, we with those two pieces with estate planning and business law, it actually looks very similar to what you think of as traditional attorney. The only big difference, besides the fact that, like Brooke said, we communicate with you virtually, is that you're the one who handles filing documents um, if they're if it's necessary. You're the one who handles um, you know, getting signatures and witnesses and that kind of thing. Where it looks really different is with our family law, which is it's what we call pro se assistance. Pro se is we like Latin terms in the law. And pro se just means that you're representing yourself in court, but you have an attorney here in Arkansas that's right now, that's me. And I'm the one who's actually advising you on everything. I'm drafting all of your documents. My name is gonna be on the bottom of all of your documents that's required here in Arkansas. So the judge knows that you've worked with an attorney to prepare everything. And that way everyone knows that what you have is what you need but you're the one who, act, who actually handles taking it to the court, making sure that your spouse gets the documents, setting the you know hearing with the court uh, for uncontested hearing, whatever that might mean, uh, whatever the, you know, the, the ending is of your divorce case, um, custody issues, that kind of thing. So, you know, the big difference and what it, where it looks really different is with the family law. Yes, I agree. Hey, Nicole, thank you. Um, okay, so I touched on it just a tiny bit, um, and thank you, Laura. Yes, that is kind of the piece that sometimes it's hard for people to wrap their head around, um, but it's very much accepted by the courts, and it is very much in our rules and our laws um, that you have the ability to do that in most practice areas, um, all the ones that we offer. But back to kind of how we interact with you, and I touched on it, so I won't go into it too much, but... Uh, where it looks different on the front end is you are not having to, you know, trek down to the office um, in, in another city or in your city or whatever uh, to sit down face to face with an attorney, wait, take off on your lunch break, whatever. You actually go online uh, directly to our calendars and you could set a 30 minute phone call with us. You can call. Um, we have we have a toll free number you can call and you can have them put you on our calendar um, or answer basic questions for you. Uh, not legal questions, just basic questions. Uh, they're not attorneys. So um, 
you can do that. And that's how you get into us. And then once you schedule with us, we, we give you a phone call at your scheduled time and we will talk to you about your needs, what we do, how we operate um, and just make sure it's a good fit for you. And we'll also, you know, we're not trying to sell you something you don't need. So we will provide you resources if we're not the best fit for you um, and be very transparent with you on that call. All of your interactions with us beyond that, like I mentioned earlier, go through a client portal and in the client portal, you can pay your invoice um, with a check or credit card. You can um, go in, send us documents. You can look at documents that we've prepared for you. You can also go in and there is a messaging tab. And I think this is probably our favorite and our client's favorite thing. It doesn't matter, especially in family law, you know, that's kind of a heated area and your spouse may do something that makes you really mad at um, 12 p.m. on a Friday night. Obviously, we're not right there to answer a call, but you may want to say, I need to get this out um, and I need to you know, talk to the attorney about what's happening. So you can go in and you can message us whenever it's convenient for you and we will get back to you on that. But you can at least get it out there. And we're typically pretty responsive. Sometimes the weekends, uh, it, it will be Monday before you hear from us, but uh, generally we like to respond within 24 hours and we take a lot of pride in the fact uh, that we do communicate and keep you informed about what's going on um, and be responsive to you. So um, everything is kind of on your time, convenient for you, and that's how we have it all set up for the intake and for our interactions beyond that initial call. I actually went into the practice yeah. areas already. So if you want to talk about these, I'm going to talk about, um, do you want to just kind of list out, you kind of gave an overview um, just real quick, maybe some of the services that we offer in family and estate. Um, sure. um, just real quick, I'll kind of mention just because we like to keep these to 10 minutes. So we're already at 12 because we say that every time. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but for estate planning, um, there are, there are really, honestly, a lot of documents that you need. And I recently had a client who told me that one of the, one of the best things is that I made him, he and his wife, think about things that they hadn't thought about. Yeah. So you have that conversation with me. You know, we talk about any questions that you have, but the the big things that you need um, when you're when you're planning for, you know, the inevitable, honestly, is uh, is your will your last will and testament, but also people don't understand that there are ways, other ways to protect themselves. So things like powers of attorney for your healthcare needs, someone else who can make decisions for you if you're not able to, uh, power of attorney for your finances, and then something called a healthcare directive or living will, which tells a doctor, a hospital, what you want and don't want uh, if you're not able to speak for yourself, if you're uh, in a coma or something like that. Um, with family law, we pretty much do uh, a lot of the different things that people think of with family law. We do handle divorces kind of from start to finish with the limited scope representation, but we also will jump in and help you if you have needs to change custody, to change child support. Um, paternity is a big one. People don't understand things about paternity in Arkansas. Just because a father's name is on the birth certificate does not mean that that person is the legal father. You have to reestablish that with the court. So if you're a woman who wants to get child support, if you're a man who wants to see his kids, then all of those things need to be handled. Uh, and those are just a few things that we do with the family and estates. Right. And Laura mentioned it earlier. Um, we've kind of separated our roles out. Both of us have experience in all of the areas that we practice in. Um, but I am our business law attorney here. And Laura mentioned we do all a cart things. So contracts, partnerships, uh, establishing businesses. But we also offer uh, subscription plans. And essentially what those are is you are um, paying a monthly fee and you are getting access to us and you're getting access to resources. So if you're interested in that, um, reach out. I'm happy to talk to you about how that works and how that can benefit you. Um, but one last thing before we go that we want to mention uh, that makes us a little bit unique is our fees. We offer flat fees. And what that means is you are going to know up front what you're going to pay for the services that you are going to receive from us. Um, with those fees, we allow payment plans. Uh, we try to work around your schedule um, with your work, when you get paid, the frequency of your payments, uh, and really make it something that is uh, doable for you. 
And like I mentioned, we do subscriptions right now. We do those just for our business clients. Um, and again, we're way over time. So if, if you're interested in those, I could probably talk about those for a whole Tuesday. So, um, which we'll do that probably for an upcoming Tuesday. I'm sure, I'm sure. that's a great idea. With it, yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so the way we are different is that we offer um, flexible payments and we offer flat fee uh, trans eh, transparent uh, pricing. So thank you so much for joining us today. We did not have any technical issues. So this will be uh, on Facebook in, as opposed to last week, which if anybody saw the whoops. Uh, we yeah, have amazing video that no one else can see about exactly. how awesome we did last week. Exactly. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you to Gretchen and Nicole and everybody who commented and, and gave us reactions. And we'll see you next week for Legal Talk Tuesday on Tuesday at 1130 a.m. You guys have a great rest of your week. Thanks.